How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And I want to let you guys know the private group is live. We are growing. If you want to be a part of a community with other investors and other traders that just want to make money inside of the stock market, then this group is for you. You can find the link inside the description. We'll be happy to have you a part of the family. So today we're going to be talking about AMC. I know you're saying, Dre, why do you seem so? Well, I'm excited for the fact because we're continuing to see price strength in AMC. But before we go even further let's first go over the agenda so the first thing that we're going to be going over yes we have a short that wants to get in on amc talking about blah 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 well you know what we're going to be covering it in this video and then the second thing we're going to be going over is a technical analysis we want to take a look at the price action and we also want to see dre why are you looking so super confident right now and that's part of the reasons why if you know what the price action is looking like and you know those areas of support and those areas of resistance and as well as the range that we're actually trading in there's a lot to still look forward to here in this play and then when that is done we'll take a look at the order flow distribution we want to know what is the buying and the selling behavior looking like we know that we're going into a three-day long weekend so it'll be very interesting to see how it was looking for this week and then when all of that is done i'll be giving you guys my final thoughts so let's jump into it now let's go over the update in regards to this new short position so amc shares fall after iceberg research discloses short position july 2nd amc shares fell as much as 12 percent on friday after short seller iceberg research tweeted that it had made a bearish bet against the theater chains operator stock the so-called meme stock was last down 8.9 percent at 49 dollars and 40 cents after falling as low as 47 dollars and 77 cents following Iceberg's disclosure on Twitter that had the sold shares short, which involves borrowing shares with a view to buy them back at a lower price to cover the bet. Our position is based on the fundamentals of the company and the fact its stock price has been inflated by call options, which is always temporary, said Arnard Wagner, founder of Iceberg Research. Bearish investors forced to unwind their bets in the face of a rapidly rising stock price have helped fuel rallies this year in AMC, video game retailer GME, and other companies that are popular on online forums such as Reddit to Wall Street's bets. Hold up. Wait a second. These short sellers still haven't learned their lesson. If you want to get burned, Iceberg, by all means, go for it. You're about to get melted. I know that sounded pretty corny. But what I'm trying to say is short sellers are in this play and we need to continue to buy and hold, of course, if you are able to. It doesn't cost you anything to hold your shares. For them, it costs them a lot of money. So let them burn through all that money because they know at the end of the day, as retail investors, we own the float. And by putting out this media FUD, of course, is going to be forcing a lot of panic sells and people just being worried and concerned, saying, oh, well, you know what, AMC fundamentally mentally, blah, 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 blah. You need to understand what is going on here. You need to understand why you're in this movement. Do your homework and do your due diligence. So now let's get into the technical analysis and as well as the order flow. And then I'll be giving you guys my final thoughts. So we're going to be doing a technical analysis for AMC. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at $51.96, being down 4.17%. On the low, it tested $47.77. Then on the high, testing $53.25. And we can take a look in the after hours as of the time of this recording, we're at $52.06, which is really good to see. So taking what we looked at for today, it is continuing to trade in the tight range that we continuously talk about on the channel. We already know between this 50 to 60 range is a consistent area where AMC AMC trades in. We also do know about that $52 area of support. We did close at $51.96, still showing that we have strength in near that $52 area. So what does this mean? This means AMC still has a lot of strength and the fact that we're going to be going into next week, we still have a lot to look forward to as when Tuesday rolls around. Yes, we did end up pulling back today, getting to this $47.77 area. But again, this is a pullback for many that they were able to take advantage of and it's 
was part of the reasons why we were able to recover from it. We did a really good job. I got to remind you guys because we were going into a three day long weekend here. So we knew there was going to be the sell offs and we knew that the shorts were going to be applying more pressure. So I just hope that's something that you guys are really understanding the matter of the fact what's going on. So as far as Tuesday is concerned, I'm expecting a gap up. I'm expecting to see some more strength from AMC being able to have a lot different of a day than it actually had for today as far as for next week is concerned. Now, one of the things that we want to take a look at, I know I've covered this in previous videos, but I want to make sure you guys understand this here. So as far as this 56 area, this is an area that we're going to be looking to actually get back to, right? We can see that we have a lot of strength here because once we can hold this area down, then we could definitely look forward to making those tests at 60, which we know we have an area of resistance. We pass this area, then it gets us to the 65 level, and then we can look forward to moving from there. But for the most part, AMC is still continuing to be strong and is continuing to trade in that tight range like we always speak about. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for AMC. So we can see here as far as for the inflow, we have 938 and on the outflow, we have 897. So we have four on the large, 699 on the medium and 235 on the small. On the outflow, we have large, which is nine. Medium, we have 672. And then small, we have 216. When we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, we had some inflow days on the 28th and as well as the 29th. As you can see from the 30th, the first and the second, of course, we had some heavy outflow days. But this is of no surprise because we were heading in to a long weekend. But we know for a fact there are many who are buying and who are holding and it's part of the reasons why retail investors own the float. So I want to make sure you understand this and the price action that we are seeing, especially the continued strength that is going on and after hours is something that you should be confident in your position about. All right. So now let's jump into the final thoughts. So for my final thoughts for AMC, there's definitely a lot to look forward to going into next week. We knew that we were going to have a lot of selling pressure in AMC stock going in to the long weekend. And that is understandable. But there are many as far as retail investors who are continuing continuing to buy and hold and this is part of the reasons why we own the float. We have Iceberg saying, well, you know what? We're going to be taking a short position. So you know what this means? This means that another short still has not learned their lessons. We already know they have lost billions already. So what we need to do is take Iceberg's money and continue to burn that as well along with Citadel. And the only way we could do this so we can fight for a free market is buying and holding. And only do this if you are able to. I know I sound like a broken record here, but I want to make sure I'm clear about this. You can't have any emergent need for the money. This is very key because we don't know how long this is going to be drawn out. And these hedge funds are pretty much betting on retail investors to get impatient, sell out of their positions and so forth. But at the end of the day, as long as you're keeping yourself in the know, you're doing your homework, you're doing your due diligence, you know why it's valuable to buy and hold in this situation. We are trying to force a short squeeze here. They have to, and I'm telling you this, they are borrowing shares. We see there's also a lot of naked shorting that is going on. They are in a lot of trouble. So this is part of the reasons why we have to continue to follow this strategy, and a lot of us will benefit from this at the end of the day. Now, when we take a look at the short interest information, we looked at it many times when we do these videos. Last time I looked, it was around 25%. So the shorts are still vested in it. And of course, when that news dropped today from Iceberg, even more shorts said, hey, you know what? I want to get inside of this. So when we get those final numbers later on in the evening, it'll be very interesting. But at the end of the day, I don't mind it. More shorts, the better. So we could squeeze them out and show them what a fair market actually looks like. We are tired of the manipulation. We are tired of all of the nonsense, all of the FUD that is being put out there putting AMC down, saying that AMC has no future and blah, 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 blah. At the end of the day, I love going to the movie theaters and I love this stock. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Of course, I'll be dropping some more videos and we'll be talking real soon.